I mean, John, uh, you know, had a, had a difficult time in his life. I don't know if you talked to him or what. For years, I wouldn't say anything about it, but then he basically, other people would come up to me and it was like, okay, all right, so. Um, and, uh, and, and when you say the high point of, of um, my life in terms of an honor, I mean, I've won Emmys and, and uh, other awards, but, but that is the big thing. You know, the Lifetime Achievement, the Pettish Ask Award. And it's kind of why I did this. It was the Writers Guild. And when speaking to Elias, I have gotten a lot from the Writers Guild. You know, and I feel about the Writers Guild not exactly the way I feel about City College, but to a large extent I feel that way about it. I feel that the Writers Guild, even though I'm not a joiner, I'm not a fraternity guy, I'm not going to be amongst, you know, I'm not going to be walking behind the Writers Guild. That's not, that's not who I am. The Writers Guild, that touches me in a deep way. And what happened was, I hadn't heard from John for a long time. I'd reached out to him, and, and he was always very nice, and, and he would say, yeah, I'll get back to you, and then I wouldn't hear back from him. And I didn't take it personally. I didn't, I, I didn't feel it was about me. I figured, okay. But I would take the opportunity, and then one day, I was living in New York, and I get an email from him, and he said, hey, we, we just won a Lifetime Achievement Award. I said, and I emailed him back, and nobody had contacted me. And I said, um, uh, I, I thought he was gone. He was some, I said, well, what do you mean? He said, no, no, I got a call, and we just won like a Lifetime Achievement Award. You know, and I said, well, didn't they call you? And I said, no, they haven't called me. And I, I, and I thought that that's weird. So this is something fishy going on. But anyway, I did call him, and we did win it, and he was very excited. And then we both met, and they, they got, you know, he said, oh, we should get Denzel Washington to, because Denzel really liked seeing elsewhere, you know, and I thought, well, okay, let's get Denzel, I don't know. But we got Sam to do it, and Sam was, I loved Sam. Sam was just, I loved working with him, and I loved him as a human being, and, um, and, and what was great is, is, you know, my kids came out from New York, my wife came out, and John was there with his kids, and what was great is when we won the award that, you know, John's kids got a chance to see him celebrated in that way. And uh, that was very moving. And, um, you know, we, we, uh, it was great seeing him. And I think, I think what's, I think what's similar between uh, for us is, well, no, I don't think it's similar. I think John is happy to revisit the past. I'm not. You know, I think one time we were saying, I said, you know, we, want, we thought, did you want to do something together? And I said, I'm just really, and that's not who I am. It's not about him personally. I don't, I just, I, for some reason, it makes me very uncomfortable. And um, he respects that on some level. We don't have to talk about it. But, uh, but he feels differently. I think he would be very happy telling that story, a uh, uh, variation of that same story. And that's who he is. And listen, Faulkner, great writers. There are a lot of, there are a lot of different kinds of writers. There are Faulkner who would write about one place, you know, uh, uh, James Joyce, you know. Uh, and then there are people who... Are drawn to different kinds of things, and I'm, I'm that way, and he's not that way. He's from a, he comes at it from a different place.